What up, guys? T Max Eggs here, bringing you what's cracking 53. And today we're here with Kuda the Bore. Big dog chilling. And Gangster Prankster. I almost forgot what we were doing. Like, I, I froze at the beginning. Of. It's been Welcome so long. Welcome back to Dead Island Riptides. Let's play. Yeah. Wrong <laughs> I guess we can kind of start out with that, you know. I don't care. <laughs> the game just... came out the other day. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, well, just watch the Let's Play. We talk about our thoughts. All right, so far, yeah. Thanks, it's pretty good. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was simple. Did you expect more from the game? Yes. You did? Something more different than what it is. Like... More different. I like it. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, like amazing. something more to it. Cause it's, more you know. different, it definitely is not. Right? <laughs> if they said yeah. if they called it Dead Island 2, I'd expect something different. But they didn't. <laughs> even expansions, like even Assassin's Creed random fucking spin-off crap Brotherhood. had more Yeah, it had more expansiveness than this is having right now. So My uncle called me the other day from his work. He's like, Hey, someone's selling Assassin's Creed three for forty bucks unopened and I laughed at him and said it's not worth it. I don't know, just a funny story that popped up. Anyway. Tell your uncle to suck a dick, you know? Cause... No, I just I laughed at him. It wasn't worth it. But yeah, goodbye. Sure you didn't tell him to suck a dick? I'm Sounds sure. like something you would say. <laughs> no, no. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so, um... It's mine, hey. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> um, tragedy has struck again in America, of all places. Um, so last of, all <laughs> of all places, I know, I didn't expect it. The Boston bombing. Now, Kuda, since you live on Fox News and CNN and MSNBC and every last other one. thing that ends with a T. <laughs> and an N. You could, <laughs> you could talk about this. Thank you. Okay, so. So, um, there was this bombing. The Boston Marathon. I'm sure you've all heard about it. And... You didn't get out of your rock. I know, like, who the fuck just wouldn't have heard about it already, but, um, you'd be surprised. Some people, they just, they don't have internet, television, or friends. And, okay, you know. unless you're a hobo. <laughs> God, don't hate on the hobos, shit, I told everybody. They don't Remember do Michael, good Michael Jackson us. died, and I was like, hey, everybody on Killzone 2, Michael Jackson died. And they were just like, oh my god, you're fucking That's some crazy. serious shit. Some people didn't know, they were like, what the fuck? I mean, it literally just happened. We've had a week for this one. So anyway, it was yeah. a manhunt for the uh, two suspects. We're going to call them suspect number one and suspect number two because the news companies, they just couldn't say their names. They had like five R's and seven V's, and it was just way too much for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so they found them both, killed one. There's another guy in custody Actually, I should now. talk about the bombing at the Boston Marathon, We're, okay. right? Okay, they killed like three people and hurt like, 200 so some guy got his legs close. blown off that was, uh, yeah, that was a like, lot of people up. had their legs blown off i don't no, even but the one know guy that. the one guy was like yeah he put a bag down right beside me he didn't think of anything and then his legs were blown off whatever yeah it's a terrible story i really don't want to relive it much more than i have to but it's just it's yeah tragedy and the biggest bombing terrorist attack since 9-11 and they Caught the guy. It's homegrown, apparently. Guys from some country you probably never heard of, and uh, yeah, it's just it's, it's a fucked up mess, right? Could it have been avoided? Uh, no, probably yeah. not. You can't. Really stop this was like, like that. yeah, it wasn't this big organization that was planning it or anything. It was just an two guys, person. an older brother who like basically. Really influenced his younger brother and yeah. forced, not forced. I think him he kind of like brainwashed his little brother to do it. Uh, he probably, I don't know about brainwashed, but I don't think his little brother probably would have done anything on his own. So, because yeah. it just sounds like Big Brother went to some country with a lot of extremists and he learned a few things and came back and decided to blow the fuck out of people. So, and apparently this wasn't going to be their only attack. They just like figured out from the suspect that's still alive that they had planned on going to like new york or something after the boston bombing if they were still alive but they're stupid fucks dude they they might have been scot-free dude like but no they decided to rob a fucking gas station a couple days later and they just like like really just, i didn't know that i didn't yeah, know that either they, uh, but yeah that's how they caught them basically we had no idea who they were well they where, caught them on surveillance uh, didn't they yeah they had their faces but 
they didn't know who they were. They had no clue who these people were. And then they rob a fucking store and their faces, not even covered. They're just like, and they're like, oh, those are the fucking guys. And then they figure everything out about them because they're clear fucking pictures, clear as day. And amateurs. That, and that was like the same day. It was like that morning they killed the older brother in a shootout. And then that night they found the younger brother hiding in a boat. And they fucking flashbang the fuck out of him, shot him with like a hundred rubber bullets, and almost killed him. But luckily, he survived. And, yeah, I was you know. reading that he got like shot in the neck and the throat, all this shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's gotta they suck were, so bad. <laughs> Probably fuck him. him to hurt him. I don't Wait. think he can speak yet because he's he feel was bad like so shot in the throat, like. Uh, I don't you feel, feel bad, bad for him. No, I'm just saying that's gotta hurt. Just imagine getting hit. Oh, by yeah. Okay, imagine the pain from getting your legs blown off. <laughs> true, true, true. Okay, I was just saying. A little bit more. I was just saying. So, yeah. something I have to bring up. Since one of the, the, the one that's still alive is 19, I believe. Right, yeah. 19? Um, yeah. Do you think video games will be blamed for this? Oh, fuck no, dude. <laughs> Not even close. Uh, no, something like this happens. I don't know a video game where you go and plant a bomb and kill civilians. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh my god if i even hear anything like that i'm gonna start making phone calls like seriously because that's like no 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 these people weren't mentally ill that that's what makes it scary too they weren't mentally ill in any they way. were they smart weren't... they're bright people yeah they were well t- smart to an extent but Educated. i think they were either super overconfident or just they were actually stupid as fuck because of the way they got caught but you know it's whatever it's just there's there's nothing that would say video games could be blamed for this. They are clearly uh, extremists, and they had lots of particular views. They like found all their YouTube shit, their Facebook crap, and it's just yeah, you can tell exactly. What do you think they're gonna go for for the defense? I have no idea, but apparently this, pub- this public defender who's uh, defending him is like one of the most respected public defenders in like New York or some shit or, or in Philadelphia or Boston. Well, that's a public defender. That's normally not uh, No, 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 no. Where's yeah. he going to get public tried? Defenders. Boston, New York? Uh, no, it's Boston. It's 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 going to be... The, I'm not sure. But the public defender is supposed to be like the best of the best. And public defenders aren't bad. That's just the stereotype they get because they usually give them to just like, you know, petty criminals who can't afford fucking attorneys. But... Yeah. This guy, I don't know if he's being appointed or what, but he's going to have a pretty good defense. I'm pretty sure they'll move the case out of Boston just because they won't be able to find a jury. Well, it's a... Everyone's going to be biased, so... No, I think it's a federal case, so it might not even be in Boston. It's it's a... the countrywide. They'll move it to a yeah, Supreme yeah, Court. It's going to be somewhere. No, not the Supreme Court. It's just going to be in federal court, which is completely different from state court. So he, they could take him to any federal court. I don't know if there's one designated for that side of the country or what, but it might not even be in Boston. I'm not even it's sure life about or it. the death penalty if he gets. Yeah, he if that's what I'm thinking. If it, it's not going to probably get a trial, he'll probably uh, get charges reduced for a plea bargain and eventually. Yeah, he's probably going to spend the rest of his life in jail, but yeah, no know. matter what, do they have the death sentence them, in Boston? It doesn't matter. It's a federal. It's federal. Oh, okay. yeah. It doesn't have any. It's above regard for where it happened. Yeah, it's above above the states now. It's it's in the like the countrywide court. Like when you fuck up real big, this is where Supreme you go. Supreme Court. No, Supreme federal. Court has nothing to do with trials. Okay. <laughs> Supreme Court's like bills and shit, right? Supreme Court is where they... Supreme Court does trials, though. No, not, they do, like, no, um... They do questions that have to do with the Constitution. The Constitution... Yeah, if the thing has to do with constitutional... But it suit. doesn't... It never has to be a court it's case. It's not there, criminal. There are some court cases, but it's usually a question of law. Like, is this yeah. okay not to be a like criminal stuff. Yeah, it's, it's it has nothing to do with trial by jury and all that crap, so... <laughs> Biggie, you should know this shit. God. I do. I'm all right. <laughs> just checking. Okay, cool. Sounded like a uh, big, you know, court. That's the biggest. Yeah, one. it's so. the highest, effort, <laughs> but it's an appeals court. It's not yes. like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, things still happening with this guy. He's been writing responses. I don't think he can talk yet. He's still been writing all his responses. The FBI is interrogating him. I think he's Who been writing. <laughs> uh, 
Well, if they interrogate them, then they probably read them as rights. Well, no, because at first they didn't read them as rights because of uh, a special exception that had to do with public safety. They wanted to get as much information out of them as soon as he, they could get it from them. And if you give somebody the rights, they can just not talk, and they did not want that to happen. So, it's, yeah, this whole clusterfuck of stuff because this guy. And, yeah, it's been pretty interesting to watch. It's It wasn't as like harrowing as the September 11th attacks, but it was... What do you mean harrowing? Eh. Like, okay, September 11th, everybody fucking felt it. Like, the yeah. tower fire, buildings are coming down, thousands of people died. This was kind of just like, oh shit, like, what the fuck happened? It wasn't, I don't want to say it wasn't as big of a deal, but it, it, it just, it didn't, have people the, were. it didn't have the same impact, that's what I'm trying to say, so. I don't know, to compare it to anything is terrible. <laughs> well, that's just, that. I'm not comparing it, that's just, it's it's the latest terrorist attack since september 11th it's just that's what it is it's or the biggest one or whatever because there's been smaller attempts but nothing really that's like panned out so so was it terrorist related <clears throat> yeah he's classified as a terrorist he killed okay. masses of people like that. He used a weapon of mass destruction that bombed no i mean like related to oh you, you mean know. like an organization yes like, no they were individuals weren't they? yeah they're individuals as oh, of right yeah. now everybody's saying they're completely on their own they were Lone wolves, so to say. Uh, okay. That they didn't have ties to any organization. They might have gotten. They got their information from. I think it was the web, like a uh, online Internet. website. Yeah. yeah th- that was like for terrorist acts, but I don't think yeah. they. Like, <laughs> yeah. Such On the a website, website, it said how. The yeah, it's like an bomb. online magazine. Yeah, and it had like a recipe to make a bomb. Like I was watching the news this morning. What? They were making a really good analogy, like. Because usually you would have to, like, you know, have somebody teach you to make a bomb. But right. in this case, they basically internet. put a recipe there that was, like, baking a cake. And, you yeah, know, they it's just... a pressure cooker, so... Yeah. Well, not... I wasn't making the food analogy. It was just, like, yeah. how easy it was to make this fucking bomb. It was, like, baking... Hey, cakes can be, you know, pretty complex. Yeah, but they had <laughs> everything they needed online, and yeah. they could practice it. It wasn't it wasn't a challenge at all for these people. It was like fucking ridiculous. Well for anybody who wants to do it. They made three successful bombs that all detonated and were like they were good bombs. I don't want to say it was good you know what I mean, right? Oh, there's like, three. They all successfully detonated and they didn't have they didn't they weren't able to practice like making sure these bombs could blow up because they lived in the city. Yep. They had nowhere they could do that. So and that's just how easy it is to fucking apparently make a fucking bomb like that. Is. They were talking about where they got the materials, like they got it from like a fireworks store or some shit. I, I wasn't really paying attention. I was like I mean all you have to do is take off take the inside of the fireworks. Well, yeah, it was for like Snyder or something because they were tracing back where they got all the materials and it was just like stupid easy to get all this stuff. And yeah, just take the inside of fireworks <laughs> and put ball bearings inside of that and yeah, have what, a bomb. What really is just going to make shit go like to hell is if they find out the guns that they use in the shootings were like legally obtained through like yeah. a non ground check or something and shit like that. That's going to get fucking firearms like like the whole background ID shit passed in a fucking second. Okay. Cause basically anybody who votes against it is Isn't like, Isn't there four. already, uh, you have to get a background check. Is that yeah, pa- background checks, but there's like so many exceptions. You can go to a gun show. No, they gun- just passed a new uh, thing where they, you have to get a background check at gun shows now. No, I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, they've been trying to, but Republicans are in the back pocket of the NRA and they will not vote yes on it. No, it got shot down. There hasn't been anything that's actually been passed. It's what they want, but they haven't passed anything. It's fucking ridiculous. And there's like 90% of Americans are for background checks and loophole closures and just all this other bullshit. And the Republicans and some Democrats are just like, they're not having any of it. They don't, they're too afraid of the NRA and their fucking money, basically, because if they get their backing taken away, they're going to lose like just so much. And it's just, it's total horseshit. They're not that powerful of a group and they're just being chicken shit. It pisses me off. The NRA? The NRA and the, the politicians that they basically pay and lobby, which lobbying is a whole other story, but that's basically why the NRA has got them in their back pocket and politicians are afraid about what the NRA might do if they do something that the NRA doesn't like, which is ridiculous because 10 years ago, Okay, the NRA was in favor of stricter background check rules, and the Republicans voted yes for it. And now they got this new fucking like leader or whatever, and he's just gone total fucking ape shit, ass backwards. Like he just doesn't want anybody to have what they want. It's just it's, it's fucking ridiculous. So. <laughs> you well, obviously had a lot to get off your chest. <laughs> Yes. Well, no, yeah. I just, I, dude, politics is my thing. Or like that is like what I do, and 
So I just soak all this shit up like a sponge, and I can talk about it forever. But this is just, yeah, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> One more thing. Also, with any big event comes the conspiracy theories, and there's already some that like use. Yeah, I don't know. Framed. Framed. Yeah. Do you think it holds any water? No. Fuck no. <laughs> there's no, no proof. No. All right. No, there's. I don't. I. There's no reason to really give any conspiracy theories like, any thought at all so it's like who gives a fuck like that's not it's not worth giving your time and energy really I feel so. alright yeah. well our thoughts oh, are with yeah. everyone who is affected by the blast and uh, yeah. whether you have family or friends or maybe even live there in Boston uh, hopefully everything is going well so yeah things are getting better I think for most people people are happy to be alive so yeah. Uh, first topic I want to talk about. Um, recently, Time Magazine did their 2013 edition of t- uh, the 100 most influential people, or is it is it the most influential person or influential people? I think it was like the most influential person of the year. And wasn't it not even a person? Wasn't it like I don't even know who the guy is. Like the name is Muhammad. Morsi. I don't know who that is. I thought it was like a computer or something. Like, I was reading an article. It was like some piece of technology or something. I, I think know. this is what people vote for. So, I don't even... I don't... Here, link me real quick and I'll see if I can... Well, this article is actually... It's from March. Holy shit. I didn't even look at it. Whatever. I just think it's funny that number two is Notch, the creator of... Of Minecraft? <laughs> of Minecraft. Nice. Nice. And then is Kim.com, who I think is the guy that was Mega Got video. arrested. Yeah. No, it was uh, Mega Upload or Download. Mega Upload, yep. Yeah. One of the biggest file sharing websites ever. And he was, like, number one on the Call of Duty. Like, I think it was either Modern Warfare 3 or Black yeah, Ops. He was, like, a multi-millionaire or a billionaire, something like that. And how yep. the fuck is he the, most, the third most voted influential person of time? Because uh, he basically made streamline yeah, file sharing services where you could upload a like thing to the internet and not have to get it like through torrents and shit. It was just another way of circumventing copyright law. And I can't upload this or I can't open this fucking article. Yeah, I can't either. But um yeah, so people like that they they get a lot of uh regard and shit. So who but who's in Muhammad, Muhammad Morsi? Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. You'd have to type out the name so I could do a quick search or something because I've he is never. He's the current president of Egypt. Oh, okay. The current president of Egypt. Yeah, he's okay. There's one. been total. Uh, like I don't know why they would vote him. Like honestly, I don't. I haven't followed a lot of the Egyptian stuff really a lot, but I know that there's just been like huge uproars about the economy, and there's been like uh, I think pff, last like five or ten years. There's not ten years, but like Egypt's five been years. Egypt's a shithole, yeah. Well, not a, just a total shithole, but there's just been, like, An the, the people have gone out and protested and just done all kinds of crazy shit. My Egyptian uncle, he was, like, wanted to go over there and protest along with everybody, but my aunt won't let him go because he'll get, like, fucking messed up or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it's just, it's, it's just been a lot of political shit going on, and I don't know if this new president was elected or if he was a part of the military or something. I can't – I haven't been following Egypt, but I can see why, but that's still kind of – there's more influential people out there. Notch definitely more influential than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's second with 156,000 votes. That's crazy. That's he it? also got Kim Jong Un. Uh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> he's but got 73 percent over wow. 26. No. Psy is on there, Gangnam Style. Jackie oh Chan. J- Jackie Chan is above Obama. What the <laughs> fuck? That's about right. Crazy to me. Fuck. Obama is like tenth on the list. The notch is in front of him. Fuck him. <laughs> I don't get someone it. who made a video game beat the president. Uh, even the Bennett Bennett the Pope, he's fucking down there. Hillary Clinton's more fucking Usain Bolts. That's a fucking crazy ass list. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm, even know. Mm-hmm. Who mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what yeah. happened to you? That's <laughs> <laughs> a died. <laughs> I just think that's interesting. Who people? Who? Because you think like Obama, like he's he's kind of. Oh, he wanted he wanted like three years ago or something like that. And so. it was very controversial. 
Yeah. Well, that, and I think they gave him, like, the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, that year. was it. Like, that, yeah, that was. His that was first year in office, they were just like, fuck it, give it to him. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. I, uh, that was a good day. <laughs> Fox News was just like, their panties were all up in knots, dude. They were up in great. arms, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, something I think is funny, because there's just a lot of hatred towards this company. EA bringing home the secutive. <laughs> Bringing home the second consecutive worst company in America award. Yeah, above <laughs> like Bank of America and like all the fucking reasons why the economy is all total shit. EA, I thought that was fucking. Why though? They're, they're not that bad. Uh, they are fucking terrible. Okay. Oh well. What? <laughs> what? Why, Biggie? First, tell me why they're not that bad. All right. I don't know. I like their games. I find them fun. Okay, yeah. sweet. Like, how do you feel about EA games and running around and you know what's it called? All right, on um, PlayStation, 3. not a fan. Didn't have so a guy. So wait, gun. how many times did you have to buy that game? Once. What? Bullshit! You bought it twice. He, no, bought it he bought it Sim City, and Sim City was broken, so he got two other two other games, one or two other games. When I got it, it was fixed. Yeah. I didn't buy it when it was broken. So wait, the game was broken. Sim City. Was. There was a lot of problems with Sim City. Oh no, I know it was broken. I'm just trying to get them to admit that he is told piece of shit. <laughs> it was broken on release, like a lot of other games like that. Uh no, there was one other game. It was Diablo three, and you know Blizzard learned from their fucking mistake, right? <laughs> EA, no, fucking horseshit, all right? Have you ever tried to call EA because you know something didn't work the way it was supposed to? No. Have you ever tried calling okay. PlayStation? You say no, and they keep offering me the same thing, and they beg you why. Oh my god, I told you what to tell that guy, and you would not just do what I said, right? You would have been much more satisfied if you just did what I said. Okay. Anyway, regardless, all right, EA has, like, one of the worst customer service records in the industry. Like, this fucking ridiculous, okay? And then these microtransactions that are all over the fucking place, yeah, pay yeah. to win. Hold this on. whole fucking horse. The, they wrote a little post about like why they won, so I'm just going to read it real quick. So following okay. last year's surprise worst company in America victory by EA, there was hope that the video game giant would get the message. Uh, they said, stop treating your customers like human piggy banks and don't put out so many incomplete or broken games with the intent of getting your customers to pay extra for what they should be have received in the first place. And yet here we are again with EA becoming the first company to win the second golden poo from consumerist readers. Golden poo. <laughs> Did they actually get like a little trophy? It's crap. Yeah, it's a golden uh, poo. Yeah. They get it sent to them. Yeah, uh, that's probably, gonna be yeah. funny. I this like... is fucking hilarious. EA beat Bank of America, which is responsible for the housing bubble, which is like very, very like debatable. Like it's responsible for this whole fucking economic recession we've been in for the past like fucking it seems like forever. So. <laughs> One of the companies in charge of us getting just total shit on the past, like, five, ten years fucking didn't beat out EA, though. We that tells say, you how like, bad. GM, because we had to bail them out. Cause they... Okay, GM didn't sell tons of mortgages to people who couldn't afford them, and then they all defaulted at the same time and ruined the economy, okay? True. GM didn't do that. <laughs> GM just made stupid business decisions, and they were too big to fail, which is total horseshit, too. But they didn't cause the whole fucking economy to go down in the shit, so... I'm not saying Bank of America is solely responsible for it either, but they played a big fucking hand in it. So, <laughs> and that's EA fucking beat them. That's that's that is just it says a lot about what how gamers feel about you know their companies. Even the and, CEO said he agrees. He said we've made plenty of mistakes. And he talked about SimCity and free to play games and all that other shit. And he doesn't give a shit, though. He's saying that to save face. But he doesn't give a shit. They're making tons of money because people are fucking stupid. All right? When a yeah. company does something wrong, punish them for it. Don't go buy their next fucking Madden game, all right? Just fucking <laughs> swear to God. <sighs> so. I don't get why people buy all the brand new mats. It's the same game. FIFA 14. You. Yeah. yeah, same uh, game, different players. I don't get it. I probably yeah, they basically it came up with like the biggest scheme ever. They do almost no work, and then every year just rake in record profits. It's just fucking. Yeah, I don't. Get you that. think Call of Duty's bad? Like, oh, Call of Duty's just gonna be the same next year? Uh, no, not They anymore. change it more than the sports. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to make the point. That's my point. <laughs> they change it more, so it's just I don't, I don't fucking know. I hate EA, and I refuse to buy games from them. That's what you should do if you hate EA. You just don't buy their games. Don't go. Oh, I'll buy Dead Space Three anyway. Like, okay, don't buy it. Mm -hmm. Speak with your wallet. 
Mm-hmm. That's where you hit them hardest in the yeah. fucking wallet. Because if they're not selling games, then they got to change something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not to help them, uh, and not helping them out, you know, getting the poop award, and then, you know, they laid off a bunch of people, so. <laughs> that was funny. Whatever. That's just, they're just the biggest pile of That's shit. That's probably where a lot of their votes came from. <laughs> their own people. <laughs> no, I don't oh. think so. Well, paid. the people they laid out, definitely. No, it's consumers, people that buy their games. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, Microsoft has announced that they will be releasing a new Xbox, and they've set a date for when they are going to reveal it. Uh, May 21st. They said new generation revealed. Uh, you know, they're going to have fucking tons, a full lineup of blockbuster games to show. Blah, 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 blah. Just a bunch of different stuff, so. Do you think uh, <clears throat> this will make people forget about the PS4? No. no. If anything, it's going to, like, make people turn their head towards it, like, even more. I'm just waiting for all this fucking, like, the not being able to play used games, always on connectivity, just oh, yeah. all this. So let's talk about some of the rumors that have already come out about the system. So, the first one saying that it's going to require an always-on internet connection. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts about that? That's I don't stupid. Even know Why always-on, though? On. I don't know what that means, always-on. That like... means you cannot play a game if you're not connected to the internet. It's like a PC game. Like, a lot of PC games, you cannot play them unless you're connected to the internet. Specifically, like SimCity, right? You can't play it unless you're connected yes. to the internet. Correct. Okay. They're turning their whole Xbox into the Sim City, basically. <laughs> and there are there they're still they plan on keeping Xbox Live membership where you have to pay for it. Okay, that's like they I read an article where they're making like fucking millions and millions of dollars a year on Xbox Live subscriptions alone. They're not just gonna decide, oh, we don't want millions of dollars and just fucking poop on it. So so if you need always on Anybody who buys an Xbox is going to be required to pay for this online subscription. Money right there. And then this fucking other... Go to, go to the next topic. I'm just like... I'm just, um, the next Xbox rumor or whatever. One, of, like, one of the guys, the one of the creative directors, um, you know, he was talking about people complaining about the always on thing. And he said, uh, he said, deal with it. That's what he was telling yeah, us. He's a it. former Microsoft like yeah, director or whatever. He, he got fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he basically said deal with it and that's then he got fired. Said, you can deal with being fired. Yeah, there was like then they said like thirty or forty percent of Xboxes sold aren't connected online. So Yeah, they just lost thirty or forty percent of their sales. Yeah, that's a huge fucking number. Like yeah. ridiculous like number. So and it's just, I don't fucking, I don't see how they're going to pull this off. If this is all, like, true, I don't see how it's going to happen. Like, I don't get it. So. Um, they won't offer backwards compatibility, so same thing with PS4. Um, okay, no, but PS4, I read an article saying that look forward to backwards compatibility in the future. It's yeah, just not, it's, it's not slated for release when it comes out, but it might eventually happen. Like, there's a good chance it'll probably happen, so. I don't know what... That's the thing that, like, should be with it. You know, people want to play their PS3 games. Well, yeah, but it, that's technology differences because they switched from, like, the cell processor to a completely new thing, and then it just creates a whole mess of problems. But that is something that can be... Fixed. With fixed time. later on. If Xbox is just flat out says, we're not letting you play it's games. It's a rumor. Yeah. rumor. Yeah, it's a rumor. Well, if you can't play used games, that's, like... All your games are fucking used, so I don't, I don't know if that's doing. <laughs> but um, uh, it's being rumored that it'll come out in November for five hundred for a normal model or three hundred dollars for a subscription model. I don't know what that means, but yeah, uh, I don't know either. <laughs> Neither. What else? It better come with a huge ass fucking hard drive because <laughs> rumor I heard is you have to install Every all game. your games. Yeah. 100% of the game, like as if it were a PC. Because PlayStation usually install like a portion of it so it loads faster. They want you to install the whole fucking thing, like 20 to 60 gigs per game. That's a lot. That's fucking They'll ridiculous. probably have a terabyte. Okay, Even but then, dude, if you play Skyrim and install the entire thing. That is a ridiculous amount of data, dude. And then, and then after 
you install the game, you don't use the disc anymore. The disc reader yeah, does not work. Way. Yeah. So that's like the biggest thing too, that there's no used games because once the, the disc has been read and installed, it becomes absolutely useless. So certainly just download it offline then? That's one thing people have been saying too. Like they might not even have discs. Like, <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, that's going to hurt GameStop. Well, yeah, if they just quit selling or using used games, GameStop's going to take a huge fucking hit. But if PlayStation you, lets you play used games, then it's going to, yeah, PlayStation's going to be top fucking console, like, no problem. The Wii U sold garbage, so I don't even, you shouldn't even consider that next gen right now. So. <laughs> Another yeah. thing about the Xbox that uh, it will be capable of integrating a user's cable or satellite signal into a unified user interface. Okay, wait. Say that one more time. <laughs> um, the next, the uh, next Xbox will be able, capable of integrating a user's cable or satellite signal into a unified. Oh. User interface. So it's going to combine yeah. it all together. Your cable. Everything. Yeah, they're already trying to do that. They've been trying to advertise the Xbox as like the center of your home entertainment system. Yeah, pretty with much. With like the, uh, yeah, it's and this to is do just, everything. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Sony's tried that too, but not with the PS3. Like, we have a Sony TV box, but it's run by Google, um, and it just controls you. Like, you have Netflix, a whole bunch of apps, and you have internet and stuff, and your TV. It's pretty cool, actually. I don't know. And, and it actually works, so. You know, we talked about um, how they said they're going to have a full lineup of games. Well, accident apparently it was accidentally revealed today, uh, the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, Microsoft has always prided... Uh, Call of Duty is like a top franchise that they have for them. Under their belt. Yeah, because they get all this stuff a month early. So you know they revealed Call of Duty Ghosts, which uh, if, on the they actually leaks the cover art, which is Ghost from Modern Warfare Two. It's a guy putting on the ghost mask. So, all right, cool. It's gonna go yeah. back. It's gonna go. It's gonna be a prequel, pretty much. Which I don't know how I feel about that. But. Well, that dude, Ghost is pretty cool. So yeah, I thought he died. Yeah, that's why it's a prequel, prequel. son. It's oh, going yeah, okay. backwards. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, his name is Ghost. You might just, like, you know. So. It's a, maybe it's a twist. Or we it's actually thought he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he be. was fucking shot. We got shot poured with the gasoline and... He was like, born, burned, burned alive, yeah. He was shot in the face and then maybe burned alive. Maybe he was just right? badly burned and now he's just... He was bad. shot in the <laughs> face, then burned alive. He could what have part been of shot in the face is not getting... I'm just you know trying what? to he know, had make a ideas. On, Kuda, okay, that is an army issue helmet. I'm trying to come up with that. He didn't wear a helmet. He, won a, he wore a ski mask, right? Yeah, it was just a mask. Okay. It was a futuristic one, okay? You're yeah. fucking high. It was part Kevlar. <laughs> you obviously still miss Ghost. Right? You get hit with a fucking bullet in the head and you're wearing Kevlar, it's still going to blow Kevlar. your... I'm pretty sure blood came out. Soul. Yeah, but even Kevlar, you'd be your That's brain like, would be really splattered on the inside, dude, from being pushed around too much. That's <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was just trying to make possibilities. But... It could be a next gen yeah. title, but they released the the site released it as like a PS3. You could get it for PS3 and Xbox. No, uh, nothing about the PS4 or. I don't Xbox think it'll be. Xbox. I don't think it's gonna be a next gen title. So that's. I'm... It could be, because the game just... I don't think... Call of Duty yeah, usually comes out in November. The new Xbox is supposed to come out in November. Here's what I think they'll do. They'll probably release it for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and then, like, a couple months later, they'll re-release it next-gen so they can make more money, because, you know, they're like that, so... <laughs> That's my guess. Awesome. Uh, so. Unless they work out a deal with the consoles to wait, so... Everyone's forced to buy the consoles, the new consoles, if they want the new Call of Duty. Uh, I don't think Call of Duty's waiting for anybody, so that's just... It comes out in November. Rain or shine, it's going to come out. <laughs> so, uh, One more little thing about Microsoft. Since, you know, the PlayStation is very prominent in Japan, um, Microsoft recently offered rewards to Xbox 360 players in Japan and say, hey, if you play these games... Um, they, if you play these games, if everyone plays these games for a certain amount of hours, we're gonna give you uh, 400 Microsoft points. So, just trying That's to like entice people to play. Outside. Fifteen dollars. Trying to bribe them. Four hundred Microsoft points. I think it was like five bucks. <coughs> five bucks. Okay. Sixteen hundred uh, Microsoft points is fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. 
I just thought that was kind of funny. Ever. <laughs> yeah, hey, so there you go, Kuda. <laughs> what are you saying? There you go. Yeah. When you're in Japan, play Xbox, you'll get five bucks. Fuck! Oh, yeah, just go spend $400 on a set. And you'll get five you know, bucks. I'll get five bucks to spend on Xbox shit that I don't want. Nice, nice, Boogie. Like it. You get some batteries for your hey, controller. I went to GameStop, turned in all my games, and got two, and I got five dollars back. I was happy. All right. Done. Cool. I've never traded a game in ever, and I just got, you know, this huge ass fucking collection, so. <laughs> nice. Uh, next, that game company who has created such hits as Flower, Flow, and most importantly, Journey, has said they're working on a new game. It's years remaining from the project, years away before they release it, but they said it's going to change the industry. Strong words to say. That is. That's why yeah. I brought it up. Like how I'm gonna laugh if it's just like Pac-Man. <laughs> no, Pac-Man. you obviously never played Flower or Journey. Yeah. It's Maybe Kuda can do Journey for his fucking 365, and you can see that. Oh my god, thing. I can actually play it. Jeez, I haven't. I played it the first day, and then I don't know. I think I had to like leave early, and it just ripped me out of my whole experience, and I didn't finish like playing it ever. So yeah, it'll definitely make my series. It'll yeah. happen. You did day. Flower already, so go check that out. Yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, so they said it's going to be an important game and it's going to change the, the industry in a positive way. Mm. Yeah. I'll take them for their word for that. They're, they have a good track record so far. So. And I think it, it, that's pretty big because it's just a downloadable game too. Like that's yeah. what they're known for, just downloadable games. Maybe that's how it's going to change. Maybe they're bringing out so high quality content but it's downloadable. Something like that. That'd, We've that's already done it. that. So. Yeah, they already do <laughs> like, that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they'll release a disc based title. Well, technically, they already did because Journey came out on disc. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> <laughs> they have full so. fledged game. I think they're yeah, just like, a small company. They're just a small developer. Only like 20 people or Yeah, but Sony's starting to really support like indie developers and stuff, so I can see them making it like a, just a big fucking blockbuster title. It's funny because there's just an article about Xbox and some developers like, yeah, Xbox treats the indie developers fucking terribly. Yep. They started off like really great, but as soon as they got just like every indie developer ever working on the Xbox, they were just like, we can do whatever the fuck we want now basically and that's exactly what they fucking did. Dude. Yeah, the guy and that so... did Retro City Rampage, uh, they fucked him. They fucked with him because like they didn't release it like the week they said it, he, they were going to, and then they released it for ten bucks, which when it was supposed to be fifteen bucks, so he lost profit on that. Was... <laughs> I don't know. I just know they forced them to do so much. Like, there's so many stipulations involved if you're going to release an indie game on Xbox now that it's just fucking ridiculous. So. I, don't know. I think that's why I like switched to Steam like so much for like indie games and stuff because there's so many fucking indie games. I fucking they they treat their indie developers right. So mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, is this yeah? Last but not least for gaming news wise, ah, uh, that's probably not big to you, but it's huge to me. Uh, <laughs> cover of Game Informer this month or for next month. Batman Arkham Origins. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Everybody. Woo. Who's excited? Who's excited? Who's excited? Woo. Yeah. Nobody say anything and maybe he'll just stop talking. <laughs> bunch of just go away. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm so yeah, fucking I don't care, dude. I'm pumped. I but like, I'm also no. scared. I'm fucking scared for this game. Because, Batman, scared of oh. because the company developing this... It's not the same company that did Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. It's a new company altogether. No, oh, jeez. So it could be fucking horse shit for all I know. <laughs> or yeah, it could be better than it was it. before. <laughs> I will fucking buy it. And Deadpool. Those two games look fucking amazing. I can't wait. Uh, Hold on. That's Deadpool? his more style. You know, he likes the Super comic gross. style. Yeah. Yeah, you like gay oh. soccer. Fuck you. Alright, whatever. Screw you too. I got hostile real fucking <laughs> yeah, hey, quickly. Hey, you come at me, I come at your neck. <laughs> anyway, Shit so it's, it's gonna be um <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> a, a prequel to everything. Um and the storyline going in is it's gonna take place on our on uh, Christmas Eve and uh you know, Batman's just starting out, he's like a couple months into being Batman, but he's already built a reputation of like 
getting rid of criminals in Gotham, and then eight assassins are sent to kill him, and that that's the story. When's it supposed to come out? Like soon, or is this like next far year? in development? No, I think it's this year. Okay, yeah, this just sounds like a freaking just a bunny hop off their old title so they can, like, squeeze a little bit more money out of the series while it's, like, relevant. That's what it sounds like. And that's usually what happens when they give it to another developer. They basically just tell them, do pretty much whatever shit heap you want because it's going to sell. <laughs> just because the old other ones did really well. No, but and there's a exactly lot of story to tell. Uh, dude, they can tell whatever story they want. But it just sounds like a fucking... just. Just a crappy game that they're going to be pushing out, like, for no reason. Like, it just sounds terrible. It's it sounds Arkham fishy as hell. 25th. Yeah. When did Arkham City come out? Like, nine a year ago? 11. Arkham City did not come out 2011. It did. You are fucking high. It did not come out I will fucking wick Google it right now. Arkham... If it came out, it had, like, December 2011 or something. Like, it was practically 2012. It was, so. like, October. Yeah, you're full of shit. Uh, October 2011. October 18, 2011. Yeah, you're full of shit. What the fuck are you talking about? I see it right here on the Wikipedia page. Sure Everyone knows, knows you can edit a wiki. Arkham Asylum or whatever. <laughs> what? Sure you're not looking at Arkham Asylum? No, Arkham City. Arkham Asylum came out in like 2008 or 9. Well, then time has fucking just flown the fuck by. Well, yeah. But still, it just still sounds like a total piece of fucking shit cop out. Like. And, uh, well, there was this rumor with Arkham City as well, but there, this rumor is popping up again for this, this game, which uh, will have multiplayer. And uh, it's going to have at least one multiplayer mode, which you play as a member of Joker, Bane's gang, while you try and take down Batman and Robin. And you... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all fucking just boner killers right now. Fuck. <laughs> I want to talk to someone about this shit. I don't want to... Oh, you need to get some new friends. That's all Obviously. I'm saying. Obviously. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> going to be... You need to play Arkham City. God, it's so fucking. I cool. bought it, never fucking played it. It's sitting on my shelf. No, you're well, send it this way. I'll play it. Uh, Biggie, you have like all the money in the fucking world. I don't need to send you. Oh my gosh, whatever. <laughs> Just buy the company and make it the way uh, Gangster wants it. All right. No, I'm Can't fine. Just fucking release it quicker. Just make more. Hire more people. All right. I'll Thanks. release it tomorrow. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Hire everybody in the world. Don. I'll beta test it. How about that? All right. Cool. Um, so that's it. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for fucking Arkham Origins. Fuck all these assholes. Fuck them all. Um, yeah, have a chat with Gangster about it so you can get off our nuts. Yeah, again. I'd love to talk to someone about this. I wish more people were into what I was into. Fuck. Fuck yeah, um, I wish more people were into what I was into. God. Trying what are you into? Anime that's all the self- fucking time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah screw that guy. I like <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so you say, yeah. About it. Fuck it, let's... I, I read something, one of the comments, I think, like, they're releasing new episodes of... Is there a new Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z? New episode of Dragon Ball Z? Yep. What do you think about that? I'm excited. That means they're gonna extend the story somewhere, create a... I don't give a fuck. That's exciting as hell, dude. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they should fuck with what they already have cemented. You're gonna something, take 20 dude. episodes to do something. Uh, yeah, you just no, that's obviously a fight. Know. That's a fight. A fight, it takes like five episodes to get to, but mm-hmm. once it gets down, it's fucking... It's amazing. Yeah, it goes on forever. Um, sort of like this conversation. Yeah, uh, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> um, so next we got a couple things, uh, TV show and movie news. So first, Breaking Bad. Oh you, my buddy. god. Fucking time. Gonna come Seriously. back on TV August 11th for the final eight episodes. August 11th? Yeah. Sunday, August 11th. No, I'm gonna be in goddamn Japan August 11th. You're watching it in Japanese and fill the culture, bro. One chan. Oh <laughs> my god, yeah. Thank God for one chan. Oh, wait, what? I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Hey, I watch free TV shows on it that were free that I missed, okay? Fuck that. They're also free. Also coming out uh, is the, uh, Breaking Bad might be getting a spinoff show 
Oh my god. Um, which would focus on criminal lawyer Sal Goodman. Oh my god, that'll be so good. He is so fucking great in that show, dude. Better call Saw! <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. Yeah, I can't wait for that show. You're the only one who knows what to talk about. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. I got a picture of oh. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's I got a picture. Hilarious in the show, dude. And he's like smart, and he's a lawyer, and he's fucking he's shady. Oh, so good. Almost gets killed a whole bunch of times. Oh yeah, it's fucking great. Uh, so that's exciting. So, Bringing back. Oh, dude. I still haven't watched. I've been watching Kirby Enthusiasm. I'm almost on season three. Holy shit! I've never that's laughed. A bad show. I've never laughed as much as I have watching. Fuck you. Go watch Breaking Bad. You're fucking it's high. It's not a funny not show. Watching. Uh, it can be. It has and then it gets super serious. Good show. And it gets fucking just like, oh my god, jaw dropping, awesome. And then, you know, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Fuck that. Um, what else? What's that shit. Some sad news for watchers of the Cleveland show and Futurama. Oh my god, I heard that news. It's supposed to be wrapping up. Yeah, the show was stupid. Yeah, it wasn't but, that good, but I'm more sad to see Futurama go. Like that, yeah, was, that robot's awesome. I didn't know Bender, oh, the Cleveland show lasted robot. four seasons. Yeah. yeah, it's been a long, pretty painful ride. That's so. Fucking crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. The no-brainer would be like maybe Brian and Stewie or Quagmire, but Cleveland? <laughs> That's fucking weird. You think they did it because yeah. he was black? Uh, probably they were trying to reach out to more black audience or something. He should have just stayed with Family Guy. He's probably going to move back. I don't think they're killing off his character. Is he not on Family Guy anymore or no? No, they, he moved away to a whole other state. and He's like in Virginia now or some shit instead oh, of Rhode Island. So that's how, okay, that's how. He's in Cleveland, right? They've done a couple episodes where they like they met up again to do stuff, but not anything Real serious. <laughs> He'll move back. He'll move back to Quahog. I'm not worried about it. In place of the Cleveland show, they have The Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, Family Guy, American Dad, and now uh, Murder Police, which will be the new end. Yeah, Murder Police. Ah, uh, looks fucking hilarious. And Bob's Burgers is fucking great, dude. Anybody that says Bob's Burgers is not a good show, that show has got some like good ass fucking comedy. It's fresh, fresh kind. What kind of comedy? Dirty. Uh, it's got all kinds, but it's just, it's different. Like, the first season, not that good. I almost got turned off to the show, and then I started watching the second season. Fucking, they 180. They totally fucking took in, like, just, it's fucking, it's hilarious. It's good as shit, dude. Interesting. Oh, it's really good. Uh, next, let's talk about a little bit about Walking Dead Season 4. No spoilers, shit. of course, but a um, couple actors being bumped up. Tyrese is I don't know if it's his daughter or girlfriend Sasha and Beth. Who is Beth? Do you know who Beth is? Um, is no. she one of the like Rick's group? Like isn't she that chick with the short hair? Is that Beth? She has no. another name? Oh. Wait, I thought that was the um what's his name? The farmer's daughter. Oh, you have a better memory than me cuz I originally I thought Beth yeah. was the chick that survived the shooting from the governor. I don't know, maybe. I no, really couldn't Beth, tell you. Beth is uh, Herschel's daughter, daughter, the blonde one. Yeah, that's Herschel's other daughter? Yes. Okay. She's finally being bumped up after two seasons. She's got shit to do, shit to say? Holy shit. She's I thought just she just took care of the baby. baby. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, she's just take care of the baby, dude. And now she's gonna... Uh, I don't she's know, got maybe. a thing for Rick Jr., you know. It's a uh, girl. Oh, what? no, uh, Carl, yeah. Yeah, Carl. <laughs> I thought he was talking about baby. I'm like, the baby's a girl. No. His name or her name is a little ass kicker, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Fucking ass. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Robert Kirkman is also saying zombies will be more threatening in season four. I don't know what that means. But... Good. I want to see them on their fucking toes again. Like, they've been behind their, like, safety of the walls too often. They need to be back out where... Anybody could get grabbed and pulled through a house like any second. Like I want to see. Well, the tension, terror is right? mostly people. It's people versus people. Yeah, and I want to see it go back to them fighting against the horde again. Like, I feel you. Supposed to be about the zombies. Uh, next, two more things. Movie news. First, um, 
what's the, the Man of Steel, the fucking new Superman movie coming out. Have you guys seen the new trailer? Uh huh. No. It looks fucking awesome, right? Yeah. I'm not a Superman fan, but this one looks fucking good. Uh, two things about it. First, uh, one of the thing they're changing something huge about Superman in this movie, and that is that he he will no longer uh, have a weakness to kryptonite. Will he not? No. <laughs> how, how do they explain happen? that? Yeah, yeah, like how does that happen? I don't know. Why would they even do that? Like. Just he's not OP him. enough. Let's make him, you know, <laughs> let's let's patch him so he's no longer weak to kryptonite. Let's just yeah. Okay, yeah, he's fucking invincible now. It starts out as him as a kid, right? And he goes through his life. Uh, yeah, he comes to Earth, you know, with his new family, and then he's he just feels different, so he goes and takes off. It looks well, really no, he saves good. he saves uh, the school bus that runs into the water. Yeah, and then he goes to work on like some oil rig. Yeah, they send him off because they don't want him. To- to find out that he's not yeah. us. It looks fucking good. I hate Superman, but this looks awesome. Also, I'm not a big fan either. Um, th- it's being rumored that this movie will set the tone of the future DC movies, which is really weird because it's been on and off. It's like, oh, ju- we're doing Justice League. Oh, we're not doing Justice League. Oh, Christian Bale and uh, Christopher Nolan, they're going to come back and do Justice League. They're not doing Justice League anymore. So I don't know what they have planned. Um, there's been a, There was a rumor that, like, Batman might appear at the end of the movie. Just like, hey, boof. What are you doing? What are you doing? (laughs) And then maybe they team up and do something. I have the night. Why does Superman need Batman? Superman can do whatever he wants. No, Uh, but he doesn't have the tech toys that, you know. Yeah, Superman can't build a space station that orbits the Earth so they can, like... They can fly out (laughs) in the orbit. Okay, but he can't bring people with him. Who cares? He doesn't need people. Batman, he can't be everywhere at once. He's not fucking, you know... Jesus He's super Christ quick. Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. Mm-hmm. You know how fast the bullet goes around the Earth? Not that fast. Super fast. That's why he's faster than it. <laughs> oh, my God. Barely. God. <laughs> Shut up. So we'll set the tone, and uh, I think they're going to leave Easter eggs, maybe Flash, maybe Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, something. So. I don't care about any of those Aquaman! Guys. <laughs> oh yeah, Aqu- the oil rig. <laughs> they have Superman to have Aquaman, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, where the fuck the was Aquaman? Rig, and then he just sees this man in the water. He's like, oh, who's that? Yeah, where was he when fucking BP blew up the fucking golf? <laughs> like seriously, fuck. He didn't want to get oil on him. Then it'd be Oil Man. Yeah. Something they uh, could do that's easy. They have the show going on right now, Green them. Arrow. <laughs> they could boom tight. Uh, my brother and dad are like way into that show. I'll fucking get it. Because, like, in Smallville, you had fucking... They were there kind of teaming up, and then they, you know... I remember that. That was a good show. Smallville? I never yeah. got into it. I, I hate Superman. That's a, I just fucking hate like him. He doesn't like Superman. He's too perfect. I, that's I hate What's so uh, bad? He wasn't. Kryptonite. Now he is. Yeah. Now there's, like, nothing you can do against him. He's too good! What's his, he's going to have to have a new weakness. Otherwise, he's just going to be... Maybe he falls in love with this girl, and he uses him against her. Or uses her against him. That's typical shit. That's li- that's the yeah. new Thor movie. Yeah, oh, yeah that that's fucking true. scene in the Thor oh, Thor trailer. God. Fuck that movie, dude. Anyways, so Superman looking good. Can't wait for that Iron Man three next week. But more less about superheroes. Last but not least, in general, uh, oh, Ratchet and Cl- Ratchet and Clank will be getting an animated movie coming in twenty fifteen. Wow, oh, that's like super far away from now. Yeah. <laughs> and they released a trailer, and it actually looks good. It looks really good. The trailer was kind of funny. Yeah, the trailer was fucking good as shit. I can't wait I for it. I don't think the entire movie's going to be like that, though. No, that was just a, a mock. Was yeah. Because they were making fun of the animators and shit. And then, yeah. yeah, and then... It was good. The green guy gets good his thing. butt handed to him. So I expect a Ratchet and Clank game coming out in 2015, alongside oh, the movie. I'm uh, like too old for Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I don't like Ratchet and Clank. No, but like you're not old enough to watch like Wreck It Ralph or something. You, you hey, can fuck watch you, that was classic shit, right? No. <laughs> He's like, shut up, don't talk about my movie. I know you shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, so are you gonna check out Ratchet and Clank the animated movie? I'm gonna link you the trailer. You can watch it after. What, two years from now? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> it can get canceled by the time it comes out. Nah, I don't think so. Because it's Sony pretty much backing it up, so they're going to release it. It's good or bad. 
Um, and another video game movie that was confirmed, which is like, what the hell? Uh, Heavenly Sword is also going to get an animated movie. Wow. That's weird. fucking crazy. I've been playing it. Like, It's pretty fucking good. The story's all right. You've been but playing Resistance more than anything. I beat it. It really sucked. The ending sucked. It was a good game, though, right? The game was all right, but it was just the most like just anticlimactic ending ever. Like I just couldn't believe it. I hate when games don't like they need to just wrap it up already, and I just don't understand There's a what the hell. Right? Well, like yeah, you close the warp hole, and then it just goes like to him and his wife, and then it goes to credits. Like <laughs> there's never they never do anything with the fucking war really. Like not since like the first game. They keep thinking they're gonna find out something, and then it just never really goes anywhere it's just i'm tired of the series already and uh, i don't know if that was supposed to be the last one either because it's just yeah it's like humans are fighting back and it seems like they're winning the war and then it's over i'm like what the fuck yeah. uh one more, th- assume. one more thing i want to talk about uh with ratchet and clank <sighs> and heavenly sword coming out as animated movies do you think games should take this approach more instead of uh, a live action the live action might work for like some games like uncharted or assassin's creed or tomb raider but do you think more games should be adapted into a, a ratchet and, and if so uh or as an animated movie, and if so what move or what game would you like to see turned into um they just need to figure out a mega man capcom's no whatever been, capcom's been doing with uh, resident evil because the animated Resident Evil movies are actually really fucking good. Oh, yeah. And they just need to, like, figure out how to do that. Because it was, like, one of the few movies based off games that are just, like, it's worth watching. So, and I don't know. Ratchet and Clank could be absolutely fucking terrible. Heavenly Sword could be even more fucking terrible. So, they just need to figure out whatever Capcom Heavenly doing. Sword has no hype, though. I feel like it's just kind of random. Yeah, it's been, like... It's going to be, like, ten years too late by the time they come out with it, so... I don't fucking know. How many animated movies has there been? Uh, Final Fantasy and Resident Evil, that's it? Uh, no. Tons of Street Fighter movies. Oh, yeah. But that's Capcom again. Capcom is good with that shit when they do the anime. The Street Fighter movies are pretty good. Not the live-action ones, those are total pieces of shit. I'm talking about the <laughs> the animated ones. And Would you like to so, see a Mega Man animated movie? There are Mega Man animated Things. I don't know if there's like an actual movie, but there's there was a show. There's uh there's another show. That one sucked though. Don't talk about that one. <laughs> I don't know. This could be good. I could see games going in this in this direction. Uh, oh. I guess. Uh, just, oh. <laughs> Leaves a sour taste in my mouth thinking about it. Um, I don't know. Uh, let us know your thoughts and opinions. So, guys, we're going to wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed What's Cracking 53. Uh, catch us next time. I don't know when. Hopefully soon. Um, and that's about it. You know, keep up with the Dead Island Let's Play. We just started that. Um, game's doing pretty good. Uh, the game is pretty good. It's whatever. It's more Dead Island. Um, and I think that's that's about it. Anyone have any final comments? Goodbye. That's yeah, bye. What an asshole. <laughs> Comment now. Peace. 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 Wow, this is supposed to be me. <laughs> <laughs>